Hey there. Well, it's been a busy couple of weeks at the world headquarters of Dave Edwards Media as we've rolled out our new online course, Evernote Behind the Basics. And uh, that, that's put me a little behind and walking you through some of the latest updates to Evernote. So I want to do that today. Plus, I want to answer a viewer's question about the Web Clipper. Subscribe to this series of videos and you won't miss any of my regular updates. So let's get started. So I share a lot of links with others in the course of my work, and many of them are clients. And I always have to remember to not only share the link, but to grant permission for the other person to access the note. So suppose someone sends you a link to a note, but then forgets to give you access. Well, now, instead of having to go and email them and do all that, now you can just request access. Here's the image that uh, Evernote provided when it released this. So basically, you're, you are pinging them uh, with a request that they update their access. It's very simple for you to do. Just click the button. It's very simple for them to do. All they have to do is go back and and uh, give you permission to access the note in the light editor if, for example, you don't have an Evernote account. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of web ads promoting different AI apps that will transcribe meetings or lectures, but I don't know if you're aware of this. You can do this in Evernote too, and in fact, Evernote has now even upped the limits of the files that you record and input into the app. Uh, you can now record up to an hour or 100 megabytes, which uh, whichever comes first. Um, and this is really good. Like if you're in a meeting that goes an hour, I hope your meetings don't go more than an hour. If your meeting goes more than an hour, you can record it and plug it in and uh, then it will transcribe uh, that meeting. Or if, let's say, you're a college student and uh, you know, you're know you recording a lecture, you can plug it into Evernote and then it will transcribe your lecture for you. So there is, they accept all sorts of uh, audio files, all the standard ones, video files. This one happens to be a video file. And here's the other cool thing. Now, the transcription will work in a standalone tool. So if a person does not have an Evernote account but still wants to make use of the AI transcription feature, all they have to do is go to evernote.com slash AI hyphen transcribe. It will bring them to this screen and all they have to do is choose a file and then Evernote will transcribe it just as it would for someone who's paying for, for Evernote. So why do they do this? Well, of course, it's trying to you know get people to use Evernote, like Evernote, and become subscribers. And that's why you always have to register when you do these standalone features. But it's a great feature for anyone who uh, you know wants to try Evernote and see how well their transcription tool works. And don't forget, you can always make a recording by uh, coming over to the uh, drop-down menu here and click recording and then it will record an audio file for you directly into your note. And now you're also able to transcribe from the slash command inside of a note. Now, of course, you've always been able to access the AI transcription feature from inside uh, the uh, file that you've dropped in, but now it also appears within the slash command. In fact, you've noticed here that it is highlighting the AI transcription feature at the very top of this drop-down menu. One of the features that I use a lot is the search function in Evernote. While I have a pretty good notebook arrangement, if I'm looking for something really quickly, then I use the search feature. Evernote has also enhanced the search feature. In the past, you would do a search, it would show you a number of, uh, a number of different options, but now they have what they're calling the scrolling search, uh, which means it can show results of more than 128 possible solutions. Then when you click on it, you can now see the result from search and now you can open the note uh, from the result on search. So this is uh, another attempt to improve the search features uh, on Evernote, which is uh, good for people like me who uh, use it quite regularly. Evernote has also launched a new feature suggestion form. 
Look, any of us who use Evernote for any amount of time all think of things, oh man, I wish Evernote would do. Um, and, you know, while they're not responsive with every request they get, I mean, they are interested in what we're thinking. And I suspect what happens here is that if they get a fair number of requests for the same thing, well, they'll put it into their, uh, into their priority list. So they originally launched a, a suggest feature uh, back in back in winter sometime, like January or February, and they got so many requests that they want to make it easier for us to input that. So now they have this suggest a new feature button. Here is uh, the web page that you uh, go to, and all it's asking you to do is to, uh, you know, ask what is uh, your request related to. Suggest a new feature. You can even report a technical issue, but if you suggest a new feature, it will come to this form and you fill it out. Then it is submitted to the Evernote team. Now, as Evernote pointed out when they first announced this, uh, that there, you know, this is not like a place where you uh, type in your Evernote problem and expect an answer. Uh, there is a way to report bugs. You can also see what Evernote is currently working on with the bug fix tracker. And you can go to that and you can see all of the things that are currently being updated and all of the things that they are currently working on. And if you go to the Help and Learning Center, you not only have a link to the bug fix tracker, but you can also click on some of these articles, which will answer some of the frequently asked questions that folks have uh, for the Evernote team. Uh, there's always been this concern that, you know, Evernote doesn't have a, a, a robust system for solving our problems. Um, and I guess you could make that argument for just about any software. I was working uh, with Excel not too long ago, and I was, I was having such problems with a formula and no matter what I did, I couldn't figure it out. I ended up searching on the internet and I found someone who had posted an article, which was very helpful, but it wasn't like Microsoft has a 24 seven helpline. And I guess the same thing is true with Evernote. Uh, for some reason, I've been able to resolve most of my Evernote problems by just doing a lot of uh, searching on the uh, Evernote forum and just by you know trial and error. Now we move to a question from a viewer. This question is from Albert. He writes, I'm unsuccessful at setting up and using Web Clipper. I bought your course thinking it would provide detail on getting it. Your explanation is the same as Evernote's, which is not working for me. I have a paid version of Evernote, and Get Web Clipper takes me to a new sign-up for Evernote. Please help. It's not as simple as you describe. Well, it is pretty simple, but I think I figured out what the problem is. So you click on Get Web Clipper, then under Web Clipper Extension, you want to click the browser that you are using. When you do that, the download should begin. And then once you've saved it to your computer, you have to install it like any other new program. So this is really important. You don't download the Web Clipper as you would an app. The Web Clipper is an extension that you use inside your browser. And that's why you have to download it and then activate it within the web browser that you are using. So good luck. I think that'll work out for you. Email your Evernote questions to me. I always love getting them. I'll try to answer more in future episodes. Oh, and don't forget, click the like button and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, so you've got Evernote, you use it to take notes, save ideas, and maybe clip a few web pages. But here's the thing, Evernote can do so much more. And that's where Evernote Beyond the Basics comes in. This online course shows you how to use the powerful features inside Evernote and why they are important. Whether you're managing projects, tracking goals, leading a team, or just trying to stay on top of daily life. This course helps you build a system that will work for you. No fluff, no theory, just clear step-by-step -step videos that walk you through everything. You get over two hours of easy to follow content, lifetime access, and free updates whenever Evernote rolls out something new. All for just $50. Go from Evernote user to power user. 
Full details at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses.